Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, The Silver Crown. Today I'm going to show you what I do or what I'm doing today in regard to my hair. So it's wash day again and uh, summer came a little bit late here in BC, Canada and it's been in the 80s and the heat has really been affecting my hair and it's hard for me to keep moisture in my hair anyway. So um, what I'm doing today is I'm going to use a little bit of apple cider vinegar and water. This, this uh, bottle holds about two cups of water and I put like a half a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar and um, my hair has already been finger detangled and so I'm just spraying some of this on my hair because I want to do a clarifying. I want to do a deep cleaning. Um, I haven't done this in a long time so uh, and I've been transitioning for eight months now. So I just want to put a little apple cider vinegar in my hair to try to break down some of those oils and also to restore the pH to my scalp and stuff, okay? So, I finger detangled already, but now I'm going back through, looking for any tangles and taking out any shed hair. That would be, and you, you, know, you want to make sure you get all the shed hair out as much as possible because you don't, you're not trying to grow dreadlocks unless you're trying to grow dreads. If you want dreads, then you want the hair to stay in because it needs to wrap around itself. But in my case, I'm not trying to uh, grow dreadlocks. I'm just trying to grow healthy hair, long hair. And um, so I'm trying to make sure that I get the shed hair out. After I get finished doing this, I'll let it sit on here for a few minutes. And then I will get in the shower and wash my hair. And then I'll go into the next step, which will be um, a deep treatment mask by Shea Moisture that I've never used before. And it's right here. This is for uh, raw shea butter deep treatment mask with sea kelp and argan oil for dry damaged hair. So, and here it is. And I'll be using that after I wash my hair. The instructions say to put it on freshly washed hair. Okay, so now here's the shedded hair that I got out. Like I said, make sure you get it all out. And I've got this white, you know, stuff on my hands because the, um, the vinegar is a natural acid and it's just helping to uh, break down some of the oils and the uh, leave-in conditioner and stuff like that that I had um, on my hair. So I will be back after I get finished with the wash. Okay, so my hair is all freshly washed and I'm going to uh, get ready to put this Shea Moisture product in. It feels pretty soft and um, my husband is talking to me, even though he knows I'm trying to make a recording. <laughs> Bye. Anyway, you have one of those at home. So, um, and then if you look at my last video, I showed you how I took some shea butter and a lot of other essential oils and things and mixed them together to make my own hair product. So I just took a teaspoon of that. Uh, and also I mentioned that, uh, the temperature has been in the 80s, right? So I did not put this in the mixture because I'm in an RV and I have a small refrigerator. And once you open grapeseed oil, it does need to be refrigerated because it is food. Um, so I just took a capful of that and added it in with this. But I'm not going to put that in just yet. I'm ready to do this uh, deep treatment mask that I just spoke to you about. Um, so let's get started with that. Okay, Shea Moisture Deep Treatment Mask. So I'll just start out with a little bit, since I don't know what it's going to do to my hair. After I get my hair a little bit more pliable, then I will, um, I'll section it off. I don't want to do it just yet.
I'm assuming that since this is supposed to correct any damage that you really need to get it on to as much of your hair as possible. What I've seen a lot of women do is section their hair into four or six sections and then when they're rubbing they're just really rubbing the top and I want to make sure that this gets to everywhere it needs to get to. So I'm doing it into little smaller sections and then I'm even dividing those sections. So this is supposed to be for dry hair and it's supposed to correct any damage. I don't have any the heat damage that I have is really it's not even heat damage it's from chemical processing from when my hair was processed all those years. I had said I was going to do a big chop a few months from now but I don't know. I don't know. Once you big chop you're kind of stuck with that that length of hair until it grows out which could take a while depending on your hair. Um, my husband did a length check on my hair last month. It was uh, 10 inches and he just did a length check before I got in the shower and it's 11 and 3 quarter inches. So I must be doing something right. I'll be back after I get this in and I'll see you then. Okay, so I washed out the Shea Moisture Deep Treatment Mask. It didn't feel like it had very much slip, very much oil, although one of the ingredients in it was um, castor oil, so I don't know. Uh, however, my hair, it looks dry, but it feels soft, so I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, so I have my mixture here that I made with all my oils uh, that I put together. I did add a little bit of um, olive oil and mango butter leave-in to this, so we'll see. So I'm just going to take a little, put it in my hands, and start smoothing it on my hair. What I like to do is, I like to um, put it on my whole head first, like one big uh, application first. And then I start to section it because it just makes it easier for me. I do it like that first and then I go in between. And I start sectioning. Okay, it does feel pretty soft. So what I'm going to do now is just go little by little. Smooth the cuticles down some, and then go to the next small spot. It's okay to go all the way down to the root, right? You don't want your, you don't necessarily uh, want to put the oil on your scalp, right? This mixture because. It can clog your pores depending on how sensitive your scalp is, uh, but you do want to get all the way down to the to the root of your hair. So that's what I'm doing here, and I'll be back after I get finished doing this, and I'll show you how I do my protective style. Finally, I'm finished. Okay, so what I did was I want to stretch my hair. I'm finding that because my hair is growing, my roots are getting very thick. Uh, that is important for me to keep them as tight and stretched as possible so that they don't tangle very much. So this style that I did is first time I did it. It's not for a style really. It's really just to keep my hair stretched while it's drying so I don't get excessive shrinkage and tangling at the roots. So I just um, made a half moon circle here from ear to ear and I split the first uh, section of my hair into four sections. I braided it into a regular braid, not a flat twist. And then I put the back, uh, I just combed it into a bun and made a very, very tight braid and connected all of these to that tight braid. So that's what that looks like. 
I don't plan on going anywhere. <laughs> Just in case you were thinking, she ain't going out like that, is she? No, she ain't. Unless I just go sit outside and get some sun, at which point I will put some uh, um, a silk wrap or something on my head. But let me see if I can turn and show you the back. It's kind of hard to do it in this little tiny bathroom. But here's the back. It's just a pigtail up here that I've got braided into a regular tight braid. So that's it. That's what's happening today. That's my whole wash routine for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please share it. It's just, you know, just the way I did things today. So the next time I might do something a little bit different. And I hope you guys are having a great week. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by.